Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Zycos New Solutions presentation. We have just launched two new solutions, the SIP paging and intercom solution and the SMB call center solutions. Today I'm going to introduce you some awesome features and application scenarios of these two solutions. First of all, uh, we will take a look at the SIP paging and intercom solution. Before we begin with the SIP paging and intercom solution, uh, let's first take a look at the classic analog paging system. The classic method of providing a paging system was to connect many speakers to a very large central amplifier. Everything is achieved by wiring and hardware manipulations. And since a single amplifier is used to power the paging system, failures could be more significant. For example, uh, if the speaker fails, the entire building or very large area uh, will no longer have paging because there is no endpoint monitoring of the amplifier. A speaker failure will not be reported by the uh, analog paging system. And uh, another limitation is uh, uh, this uh, analog paging system solution will not allow dynamic creation of paging zones. And usually uh, very few paging zones are supported, like uh, 45 zones uh, supported on the analog paging system. Another, uh, another one, the neighbor cost of running the wires is a significant part of the installation. Many wire runs have to be made back to the central amplifier. This is much more time consuming than using the existing network infrastructure that's already in place. And so uh, there are uh, too many limitations now uh, on the analog paging system. Uh, that call, uh SIP paging and intercom system had introduced the solution of uh, PA over IP. What is PA over IP? PA over IP refers to paging and intercom system uh, that use an internet protocol, the IP network, instead of a central amplifier to distribute the audio signal to uh, paging locations across a building or a campus or anywhere else in, in the reach of the IP network, including the internet. Network attached amplifiers and the intercom units are used to provide the communication functionalities. Here is a diagram uh, shows the basic principles of how it works. And by using the PA over IP, uh, some key advantages like uh, it uses your existing IP network, no extra wires uh, needs to be uh, to be done, and uh, uh, there is also no limitation of the paging zones. It's very flexible on the uh, safe paging and intercom system, and the number of the paging zones uh, is unlimited. And also you got crystal clear audio quality and uh, excellent HD stereo background music on the SIP paging and the com system. Okay, next, let's take a look at the SIP paging and the intercom system, the MX500. The MX500 is a brand new PA system designed and manufactured by uh, Zyco. It is the core of the Zyco SIP paging and intercom system solutions. The MX500 SIP paging and intercom system is, uh, supports up to 500 of endpoint registers, including paging gateways and uh, IP phones. The paging gateways can be uh, PA endpoints and uh, intercom uh, endpoints. And for background music, 
it supports multicast audio stream to up to 200 peer endpoints in the same line for local decoding and playback. As for normal IP phone calls, intercom calls, and uh, live announcements, they are all achieved by zip calling, and it can support up to 100 such zip calls at the same time. And for the peer zones, uh, it's very flexible, and uh, the number of the zones is not limited. A same peer endpoint could be included in different peer zones. Next, let's uh, take a look at the, some features of the MX500 page and intercom system. Uh, the first one, uh, scheduled PA. Scheduled PA could be easily configured on the MX500 paging and intercom system. The schedules could be made at once, daily or weekly. A daily or weekly uh, scheduled PA will cause the system to page um, desired audio files to a desired PA zones every day or uh, every uh, selected weekdays at uh, a desired time point or time points. And you you could make unlimited schedules as, as long as the time blocks will not conflict with each other. This is very helpful for the school bells and the church bells uh, implementations. The next feature, uh, background music. Background, uh, background music feature is uh, applicable in various uh, scenarios. You may upload unlimited uh, MP3 uh, format audio files to the MX500 system. And the different type of files can be organized by different um, uh, folders. You may choose to play back a specific folder to a specific uh, folder of background music to a specific paging zone or multiple paging zones. The MX500 uses uh, multicast technology to stream music to the uh, set paging gateways and the set paging gateways will decode locally to playback music with, uh, which guarantees the excellent HD stereo audio effect. Okay, the next feature is the pay, uh, paging zone. Paging zone is also as known as grouping of the set paging gateways. The grouping of the set paging gateways is very flexible on the MX500, and there is no limitation of the physical location of the set paging gateways. And the number of the paging zones, and actually the number of the groups uh, is also unlimited. Another advantage of the MX500 paging and intercom system is uh, that it can do uh, set paging gateway and IP phone auto provision. All the echo set paging gateways and the IP phones in the same local network can be auto discovered by the MX500 system. From within the MX500 web interface, you may config those endpoints with auto opening the endpoints web interface. For the set paging gateways, peer numbers or intercom numbers could be configured according to the usage. And also the intercom target number and the, the GPIO dial number all could be configured. For the IP phones, multiple SIP accounts and the function keys can be all configured from the MX500 web interface as well. Compared to the classic PA system, this is a revolution. Um, you may enjoy the ultimate flexibility and the convenience of using the SIP paging and the intercom system. Okay.
There are two levels of uh, system web UI access, the admin user and the dispatcher user. Admin user configures and manages everything on the MX500 system, while the dispatcher user controls the calls, intercoms, paging, and background music of the system. Here are background music and the upcoming events manager menu on the dispatcher's console. When there's background music playing, a scheduled PA or live announcement PA could, could pause the background music. When the PA is completed, background music will continue. Uh, for background music, uh, um, there's uh, on the dispatcher's console, um, you just have to click on the background music player and you will be able to uh, select a folder of uh, background music and you may select uh, one of the paging zones or some of the paging zones and then click on play button. Then the uh, selected uh, paging zones will start to uh, play by background music. And for the upcoming events manager, um, it could be used to control uh, what happens next on the MX500 CP and the uh, intercom system. The scheduled PA tasks could be canceled or resumed when, when it's necessary. Uh, once uh, the admin user has uh, created the scheduled PA tasks, uh, the tasks will be listed on the um, dispatcher's console in the upcoming events manager. In the upcoming events manager, uh, it will list the upcoming events of the day, and the dispatcher user can click on one of the tasks, and there, there will be options for the dispatcher uh, to uh, cancel this uh, task or to resume it. So it's very uh, convenient. Okay. The real-time endpoint status could be monitored by the dispatcher user. When there is a paging gateway or IP phone endpoint failure, dispatcher user will get notified at the very first time. It's not like the classic peer system on which you have no idea if any speakers failed. And on the dispatcher's console, According to the status indication of the endpoints, you may control the calls and the PA and the intercom calls uh, directly. So here are some uh, manager's menu uh, um, for the dispatcher user to control the PA, IP phone calls, intercom calls, and uh, some other features. Uh, we got PA manager, which can be used by the dispatcher user to uh, make a public address, um, it's also as long as the uh, live announcement or live PA. And uh, um, live announcements uh, made by any other users, um, the dispatch user may hang up or terminate the live PA made by other users. And you may monitor a live PA from the dispatcher's phone uh, made by any other users and you may barge into a live PA when, uh, when needed. And we got the IP phone call manager to manage the IP phone calls as well. You may hang up, monitor, barge in uh, some ongoing calls, and you may start a conference call among the idle IP phone extensions by using the invite to meeting button. As for the intercom endpoints, you may do the same as the IP phone extensions, except that the conference is not a, a blackboard to the intercom endpoints. Once the conference call started, you may use the conference manager to manage the conference. Features like uh, mute, unmute part uh, participants, uh, kick out participants, they are all available to be done from the dispatcher's console. This manager's menu will display when you choose to view status screen of different type of endpoints or different type of features. 
Okay, next I'm going to introduce you our new generation SIP paging gateway, the X30. The new SIP paging gateway X30 is an innovative peer endpoint device developed by Zyko European team. It converts uh, voice streams from uh, SIP paging or IPPB system to analog sounds suitable for background music, public address, intercom, and some other uh, features. It is designed and manufactured uh, strictly in accordance with uh, industrial standards, uh, which guaranteed works in environment temperature from minus 40 degrees to uh, 50, uh, 75 degrees. It is born to work in harsh environments, and it has passed the temperature test in specialized labs and proved its stability and the robustness. Okay, next then let's see uh, some see what the the X30 SIP paging gateway can do. Microphones and uh, external amplifiers uh, headsets could be connected to it. Um, the microphone can be uh, connected if in some scenarios uh, two-way communication is required from the SIP paging gateway. Uh, for example, uh, intercom calls. Headset or external power amplifier can be connected and the audio output level on the headset interface is uh, 40 milliwatts at uh, 16 ohm. And the X36 paging gateway also got built-in power amplifier, with which you may connect uh, two loudspeakers to it for a stereo uh, out audio output. The audio output level can be up to two of ten watts at uh, eight ohm. On the X30, uh, you may uh, implement up to two calling buttons. And it's also called the press to talk button. And the buttons are uh, programmable. You may pre program any desired numbers to be called, like the emergency numbers, security uh, station numbers, dispatching center, and, uh, and even the, uh, some paging numbers. It has the LED indicator support. When the button is pressed, the LED will go on to indicate the calling process. The calling buttons are usually used in intercom, applica uh, intercom applications. We have made two standard intercom uh, products, the X100 and uh, the X200 intercom boxes. One with uh, one intercom button, another with two. The X30 SIP paging gateway can be also used in some uh, security facility applications. Uh, sensors or vibrations could be uh, uh, sensors and uh, some other uh, probes could be connected for monitoring some emergency events like fire, uh, flood, earthquake, and intrusion. Once the sensor connected on the X30 has been triggered by some kind of events, it can automatically dial some emergency numbers to uh, trigger some kind of uh, system level alarm. Also, you may connect a uh, visual alarm to the X30 paging gateway. When the sensors have been triggered, the alarm will sound automatically on this X30 device. And uh, it can be used in some uh, scenarios where unattended security facilities are needed. Okay, next, next let's see uh, some application scenarios of the X30 uh, SIP paging gateway. Uh, first one, uh, the setting speakers. Setting speakers are very common, which can be seen everywhere on the setting of various kinds of uh, buildings like the office buildings, uh, residential buildings, government complexes, uh, 
shopping malls and uh, so on. They can be used for broadcasting and background music for the indoor places. The X36 pitching gateways can be easily integrated uh, into a ceiling speaker and can also be integrated with smoker sensors, vibration sensors for fire and uh, earthquake monitoring and uh, emergency alarm and uh, evacuation broadcasting. The next one, the horn speakers. Horn speakers are also very, very common and can be seen in uh, some public open spaces, like campus parks and some other open spaces. They are usually being used for background music and emergency broadcasting purposes. Um, they can be used to keep the public audience uh, informed with uh, uh, some emergency events which, uh, with which can guarantee the public safety. A horn speaker needs to be uh, loud and clear so the audience can hear, the, hear and understand what actually is being broadcasted. With the X36 Pigeon Gateway integrated and with the support of uh, wideband audio critics and the built-in power amplifier, it will guarantee the sound loud and clear. And, and installing a horn speaker with a classic central amplifier means long distance of wiring. But with the X36 Pigeon Gateway, you will only need a uh, network connectivity and you will, uh, you will no need to worry about the single degradation problem. Okay, next, you may also have seen uh, some Peter uh, intercoms maybe on the streets, in the parks, on the highway, or some scenic arrows. They are used for consultation, emergency intercom, SOS, and some other circumstances. It's very easy by using the X30 to make such products and solutions. And it's also widely used uh, for public safety. Another one is also a very common intercom product which can be seen everywhere. It's a door phone intercom box. It can be used by elevators, front gates, and many more other circumstances. By using the X36 pitching gateway, you may not only build such uh, press to talk intercom box, you may also build a keypad on it to suit more applications. The keypad could be uh, four times four in total, uh, 16K. Okay, here are some more areas and industries are safe paging gateway and uh, paging and intercom system could be used. Like the security facilities, commercial plazas, transportation industry, uh, industrial estate, healthcare, uh, residential areas, education and public safety and more. Okay, that's all for the SIP paging and the intercom system. Now let's take a look at our new SMB call center solution. For call center solutions, uh, what choices do the SMBs have? First choice might be build one of their own, but it will cost too much and no one can estimate the time and the effort it will take. And also, uh, they can, cannot guarantee the outcome. Even if uh, it had been uh, successfully built, um, but, what, uh, but who will maintain it? What about the uh, implementing of uh, new uh, feature modules? Uh, that's a big question. Another choice is uh, rental. Rental cloud-based call center is a simple and easy choice, but as time goes on, the rental cost will prove is too expensive. And the rental could, could rise in the future. 
Another issue might be the data safety, including uh, CRM re uh, recordings and some other sensitive data. The safety is not guaranteed. The most important concern, uh, concern is uh, stability. Stability is a result of the internet connection. If you're using uh, the rental, uh, rental cloud-based call center, when internet is down, uh, you will got, uh, you will get uh, totally blocked out with your customers. What else choices do the SMBs have? It would be um, using the on-premise call center appliances. But usually what we got in the market are separated appliances, uh, which IPP bags is purely IPP bags. Call center only have uh, call center functionalities. And furthermore, buying two separated appliances will cost too much and they have, uh, usually they have uh, poor uh, interoperabilities. So what would be the best choice for the SMB, SMBs? Um, the SMBs, they want the solutions that are simple and easy of use, yet secure and reliable. And the solution must be lower cost with higher return. Also should be easy operation and simply maintained, as if not, uh, it will also add the amount of the investment. So, aimed at the demand of the SMB's call center, uh, Zeko has come out with a call center with IPP back solutions, the call center series. There are two members in the call center series family, the call center S10 plus and the call center S30. They are all in one SMB call center solutions with four featured IPP bags, call center model, uh, telemarketing functionalities, and uh, uh, entry level CRM system in a single box. With the call center series, what the SMBs uh, benef uh, benefit from? Um, it's a uh, cost saving as uh, it's an all-in-one solution. At a cost of one system, you got four featured IPP bags and SMB call center and um, the, some other features like telemarketing uh, all ready to use out of the box. And it's easy to install and manage. Uh, you don't, uh, don't need your dedicated IT staff so you will not add any extra um, investment of maintenance. And it's secure and reliable because we've got built-in firewall and security policies to keep the system safe. And all sensitive data are stored locally on the appliances. You don't have, you don't have to worry about uh, the data safety. And it's uh, totally, uh, every, Actually, every feature, um, all features uh, are totally free to, to be used, no, no license fee is required. And, uh, you also got free uh, support and the software upgrade from, uh, from us. Here are some uh, highlight features available and free to use. Uh, the first one, uh, WebRTC agents. It's achieved by the web extensions. By using web extensions, the call queue agents can handle inbound and outbound calls from uh, their uh, web browsers without the uh, support of Hansi. And we got a built-in CRM. It's very convenient for the agents to um, answering calls and manage the customer information as the built-in CRM and call pop-up feature are 
all integrated into uh, within the web browser. Some other important features like uh, multi-layer eyebar, telemarketing and uh, satisfaction survey functionalities are all, all available on the Quotient series. Okay, next let's take a look at the system capacity of the Quotient system class. It is dedicated for SMBs which requires up to 20 extensions and uh, 10 uh, CoQ agents. Uh, it supports up to 10 concurrent calls, 100,000 CRM records, 6,000 auto outbound dial records, uh, 100,000 uh, 100, CDR uh, records, and uh, the internal uh, storage can support up to 100 and uh, 50 hours of core recordings. And it's st uh, still expandable as you may attach USB drive to it and the recordings will be automatically stored into the USB drive. Maximum uh, USB capacity uh, can be up to uh, 1 TB. Okay, let's take a look at the system capacity of the Center S30. The Center the Center S30 is uh, dedicated for bigger companies, which requires up to uh, 60 extensions and uh, 30 core center agents. And it can support up to 30 concurrent calls, 200,000 CRM records, 20,000 other outbound dial records, uh, 300,000 CDR records and uh, the internal storage can support up to uh, 7,500 hours of core recordings and uh, still expandable. Okay, next let's take a look at the uh, trunk connectivity of both appliances. The Kucenter S10 Plus comes with uh, four built-in FXO ports which can be connected uh, to four PSTN9s. Except the PSTN9s, it can also support IMS or SIP trunks. For the Center S30, it has two module slots which can be used to install up to eight FXO ports or eight GSM ports or up to two PRI ports. Um, besides, it can also support up to 30 IMS or SIP trunks. Okay, next let's take a look at some main features of the Cosenter appliance from the IPvX system uh, view. The IVR feature is the key feature of a Cosenter or an IPvX system, and it's a basic feature on the Cosenter series. You may configure multi-layer IVR, actually unlimited layer of IVR. The IVR menu can be as elaborated as you want. A well-defined IVR system uh, will improve the efficiency of a uh, call center system and also will give the customers uh, uh, good calling experiences. The next feature is the inbound call can be routed according to the time conditions. You may set PNSR calling uh, destinations and uh, non PNSR calling destinations. The customer calls uh, within BNSR can be handled properly, while the customer calls out of the BNSR can still be managed by some other calling destinations. So you will not have to use the uh, SIM calling destination to handle all calls of all times. And we got cost, uh, cost transfer and uh, call forward features for you to transfer and forward calls to any desired destinations. And uh, call recordings, voicemail, voicemail to email, mobile extension features are all available on the call center series. The call center series is also uh, the call center series also supports 
uh, EX16S expansion box. The EX16S expansion boxes could be auto discovered and uh, configured directly from the Kusenta series web interface. Um, it's the same as the Kovac series app box can do. The most important feature on the call center would be uh, CoQ. Actually, the call center uh, system is built based on the CoQ module of the IPPBX system. Um, next, let's take a look at some uh, call center uh, features. To get to know the call, cent uh, call center features, we will go through the agents view. There are two kinds of agents supported on the uh, Cosenter series, the supervisor agent and the normal agent. Let's first see what a supervisor agent can do. The agents handling uh, inbound calls from CoQ, they can use web extensions or desktop IP phones, while the CRM Call statistics and some other features are accessed directly from the agent's web interface. No plugins or applications required. The supervisor agent can monitor uh, normal agent status in real time, and if there are calls in pro progress, the supervisor agent can also do whisper spy on the agent's calls. Uh, the whisper spy is also called coaching. It's a very uh, useful feature for training of the, of the new agents. And also call intercept, barge in calls, uh, click to dial, are all available on the supervisor, supervisor agent's web interface. Okay, the next feature is the uh, conference manager. Conference manager can be used by the supervisor agents to pre-configure conferences. Once the conference uh, is configured, whenever the supervisor agents want to uh, start the conference, uh, by simply clicking on the start button, the selected agent's phones will ring. Once answered the call, the conference will begin. This is a very uh, useful feature for those Busy call centers holding a short teleconference and uh, it's very efficient. Okay, another feature is uh, called uh, service evaluation. It's called the uh, customer uh, satisfaction survey on the call center series. Um, once the uh, satisfaction survey feature has been enabled. After each call, CoQ agents can tell the customers to evaluate their services. Then the agents hand up the call and the uh, uh, call center system will ask the customers to evaluate this call. Uh, the supervisor agent can view the service evaluation results made by the customers to the normal agents. This is very helpful. Uh, and important for agent for the agent's service quality control. Okay, next. Um, supervisor agents have uh, full access to the CRM system. They can manage the customer list and the customer info, and they can also associate customers with uh, agents. Once the customer is associated with uh, an agent, the inbound calls of this call customer will go to the associated agent in first priority. Okay, the next feature um, are the service progress. Sorry, the service process. Service, uh, service process is uh, like a whiteboard uh, which can be used to take notes by the normal agents during their uh, call conversations with the customers. The notes uh, have been taken um, 
both the agent him or herself and the supervisor can supervisor agent can view the um, the service pro process. Um, in case there are too many key points of a customer's calls, uh, by using the service process, uh, you will not need a pencil or a notebook, but still you can um, take notes of the those key points and uh, you will not miss any important information of the phone calls. And uh, for telemarketing market research, customer satisfaction survey, and some other application scenarios, some call center needs to make lots of outbound calls. By manually dialing those uh, numbers, it's very time consuming and uh, it's uh, in in inefficient. Automatic inbound dialing, sorry, automatic outbound dialing, which is also known as uh, uh, predictive diner. Uh, it is supported on the call center series. Supervisor agent could uh, schedule out outbound dial tasks to and assign the tasks to the normal agents. The outbound dial tasks could be complete, uh, completed by the uh, normal agents by just a few mouse clicks. Another important feature is the call statistics from the supervisor agent's web interface. Uh, the supervisor agent can view the call statistics of answered, busy, unanswered calls uh, per, per each uh, agent. Okay, now let's uh, see what the normal call, call center agent can do. Uh, from the normal call center agent web, uh, web interface, uh, they got incoming call pop-up. When in a call, they can do um, console transfer uh, or normal call transfer, and they can make callback plans for some customers uh, when callback is needed. Like if the customer is asking for support and the agent provided solutions to the customer's query, uh, they can make a callback plan like uh, one or two days later to call back to the customer and check whether the issue has been resolved or not. Um, the callback plan can be made uh, directly from the pop-up window of the incoming call. And another feature is the service process, which we had mentioned previously. It can be used as a whiteboard to take some notes of the call conversations. It's also on the uh, call, uh, call pop-up window of the incoming calls. Okay, the, the normal call center agents also have uh, access to the CRM system as well. New customers can be created by them and once the new customer is added, the customer will be assigned to this agent. Later, when the customer making an inbound call, the, the call will be assigned to this agent as first priority. Normal call center agents can only create new customers and edit the customer in info, but they cannot delete any customers from the CRM system. Another important feature on the normal agent's web interface uh, is the outbound dial task handler. Once the outbound dial task has uh, been created by the supervisor agent and assigned to the normal agents, the normal agents will see the task has been assigned to them. And there is a uh, time validation uh, for each task. And, uh, Agent can execute the tasks within the uh, timeline, and the, the results of the task the ex execution will be uh, reported by uh, back directly to the uh, agent him or herself, and also the supervisor agent. So after the supervisor agent 
has uh, created the uh, auto outbound dial tasks uh, from the supervisor agent web interface. Uh, they can uh, they can also uh, uh, get the results of the execution of the auto outbound dial tasks. Uh, <coughs> Okay, let's see some application scenarios of the call center series. As we know, the call center system are mostly divided into two variants. One is the outbound call center system, another is the inbound call center system. As per the business mode of the SMB call center system, are usually focused on one, uh, only one of these two variants. An outbound call center system is usually used in scenarios like uh, proactive uh, customer services, uh, sales calls to new customers, data collection, uh, market research, and some other areas. Uh, the outbound calls are mainly needed by the company. Where an inbound call center system is usually used uh, by those companies uh, with application scenarios like uh, customer service and support, virtual receptionist, uh, direct response marketing support, help desk services, and some other areas where inbound calls are mainly needed by the companies. Um, the Zyco uh, call center series has a uh, both the inbound and the outbound applications built in as, an, as one complete call center solution. Uh, so uh, uh, the application scenarios mentioned for both the outbound call center or inbound call center uh, can be all done uh, by the uh, Zyco uh, call center series. Okay, that's all for uh, some basic introduction of the Zyco new PA and uh, call center solutions. For more information, and if you have any further questions, uh, please just drop me an email at the email address below. Thank you for your time, and uh, have a nice day. Bye.